Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be taking a look at a pretty insane mystery that I don't think anyone is going to be able to explain. And it actually occurs deep inside of the bayou located in the swamp at Sonny's cabin. Now, if you guys have been following Red Dead Redemption 2 long enough, you'll know that Sonny is one of these special characters in game that you can actually interact with. And his story is pretty creepy. In case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is what happens if you actually go to Sonny's swamp cabin for the first time. Hello there, mister. Hello. What you doing here? You looking for a friend? I'll be your friend. <laughs> if you let me. Folks don't, don't normally want to be my friend. You're real strange, you know that? So, you hungry, huh? I got food. I got food inside. Come on all. What you thinking, partner? Now come here. Don't you hate old Sonny now? Don't hate him. What? Oh, you struggled. And you lost. But it was quite a tussle, I tell you. Quite a tussle, my pet. <laughs> See? Friendship ain't so tough. And neither is you. <laughs> Not you again! Only one of us walking away from this! I don't want you no more! This is only gonna end one way! Go away! This is a mistake you won't live to regret! Please just go away! You think you're walking away from this? The thing is, I'm getting mad! You're dead, amigo! Me. It was beautiful, but I'm leaving. You've made a big mistake! So if you guys can't read between the lines there, essentially some really bad stuff happened to Arthur. And you can kind of tell because when he wakes up, he doesn't have any of his health cores, they're all completely drained. You could also do this as John Marston, I guess, if you're playing in the epilogue but anyways our real mystery here begins once we've actually gotten access to Sonny's cabin because on the inside we can find something incredibly weird now it actually is a small little detail that i actually don't think rockstar planned on people noticing but take a look at on the wall i don't know if he's using this as decorations or if this is functional but you can see that there are newspaper scraps everywhere, some being little clippings, some being full articles. Now, what's interesting is one particular article that actually mentions the Vietnam War and helicopters. Now, remember, when we actually visit Sonny's cabin, it's either 1899 or it's either 1907. 
The Vietnam War would be a couple of decades away before any of this even happened. Now, it is a little bit difficult to read. I tried to zoom in here as best as I could. From what I could make out, it says first BDECO. I'm assuming that stands for First Brigade Commanding Officer. And there's a bunch of other text in there as well, but it really is hard to read. However, the big mystery here is why something like the Vietnam War would be mentioned and also why helicopters would be mentioned too. The introduction of helicopters to the world, again, wouldn't be for a couple more decades. So the fact that this is mentioned in a swamp cabin just outside Saint Denis is a little bit strange, whether that's in 1899 or in 1907. So I wanted to talk about why this might ultimately be in here, because I think it's pretty clear by now we've established that this does not make sense. And the first theory I have, and this is probably the most likely, although it's the least fun, is this is Rockstar just reusing a pre-existing texture whether from one of their games or whatever the case is. However, even that doesn't make a ton of sense because I started thinking what other Rockstar games take place near the Vietnam era where a newspaper like this would uh, make sense to have an article. Uh, none of the Grand Theft Auto games have that. I don't think it would be L.A. Nowhere, which actually takes place a little bit before the Vietnam War. And I tried thinking about other games like Max Payne and Bully, and there's a chance it could have come from something like that, but it still seems incredibly weird. Why would Rockstar go out of their way to use something like this that just wouldn't make sense? The only thing I can think of is maybe this was like a last minute addition or something they added during the crunch period of Red Dead Redemption 2. They were trying to make this cabin look a little bit more wild or a little bit more rugged. And so they, you know, went into their graphics department or whatever it is. They found these newspaper scraps and they threw it on there with really out looking. Or maybe Rockstar just thought that no one would actually look at the newspapers on the wall. And they could get away with the fact that they were putting something that didn't make sense. Now, my second theory, and this one is a bit more exciting, although I think it is a little bit of a stretch. So we're going to have to put our tinfoil hats on here is that maybe Sonny and Sonny's cabin and this newspaper clipping in general has something to do with time travel. That would be the only way in which something like this would make sense, is if Sonny or someone in the game had been to the future where the Vietnam War had actually taken place. Now, lucky for us, we actually have a pretty interesting time traveling story that exists already in Red Dead Redemption 2. And that actually has to do with Francis Sinclair. Now you might know Francis Sinclair from the rock carving missions and essentially he wants you to find all of the rock carvings. If you've never met him before, this is what he has to say to you. Well, what's eating you, partner? Easy. Eating me? Well, oh, I'm sorry, I'll dry up. What? See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing to me. Uh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. Little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly. Little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you? No. Huh, I wish. No, I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen. If you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details, if you can. Here's my card. And if I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. Well, I don't understand. Why do you need these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. The what? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. If... Yeah, but, hey, what harm could it do? What a lunatic. So right off the bat, you get this really weird vibe from Francis Sinclair. And if you actually complete the mission... You can get 
access to the inside of his little cabin, which reveals more of the time traveling secrets. Now, unfortunately for us, we don't really see any of the rock carvings or like that big, you know, drawing that he has inside of his cabin that reveals he went to Vietnam. Like we see areas in the past, like the Egyptian pyramids. We also see super modern cities in the future, but I didn't see anything that would like symbolize a war. Now, the other problem with this is how are these two characters connected? If we just look at their locations in game, Sonny lives in the swamp, which is located in the very far south of the map, whereas Francis Sinclair is located just outside of Strawberry, which is to the super far west of the map. So in real life, that would mean that they are easily about half a country away, a couple of states apart from each other. So it wouldn't necessarily be easy, especially in 1899 or 1907, to just travel to one of those areas. So again, that begs the question, how is Sonny, the guy in the swamp, and Francis Sinclair even related? If that's the only link to getting that newspaper and having it make sense, what would the connection be? So to give you guys my final thoughts, what I think has happened here is that Rockstar just reused some asset. I don't know how it would make sense, but they did. They put it in Sonny's cabin and it had some article on there that only made sense if there was some either aspect of time travel or it's just completely overseen by Rockstar and doesn't make sense at all. Although, as always with mysteries like this, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you think there is anything interesting to this story, to this saga? Or do you think this is just an oversight by Rockstar? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did want to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And remember to subscribe if you guys are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest Red Dead Redemption 2 and GTA 5 videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.